In the thirty and eighth year of Azariah king of Judah, did Zechariah the son of Jeroboam reign over Israel in Samaria six months. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord as his fathers had done. He departed not from the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat who made Israel to sin. And Shalom the son of Yabesh conspired against him, and smote him before the people, and slew him, and reigned in his stead. And the rest of the acts of Zechariah, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. This was the word of the Lord, which he spake unto Yahub, saying, Thy sons shall sit on the throne of Israel unto the fourth generation. And so it came to pass, Shalom the son of Yabesh began to reign in the nine and thirteenth year of Uzziah. Shalom the son of Yabesh began to reign in the nine and thirtieth year of Uzziah, king of Judah, and he reigned a full month in Samaria. For Mahan Manahem, the son of Gadi, went up from Tizra, Tirza, and came to Samaria. And smote Shalom the son of Yabesh in Samaria, and slew him, and reigned in his stead. And the rest of the acts of Shalom, and his conspiracy which he made, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. And Menahem smote Tipsa, and all that were therein, and the coasts thereof from Tirza, because they opened not to him. Therefore he smote it, and all the women therein that were with child he ripped up. In the nine and thirtieth year of Azariah king of Judah began Menahem the son of Gadi to reign over Israel, and reigned ten years in Samaria. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not from all his days from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. He departed not all his days from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. And Pul, the king of Assyria, came against the land, and Menahem gave Pul a thousand talents of silver, that his hand might be with him to confirm the kingdom in his hand. And Menahem exacted the money of Israel, even of all the mighty men of wealth, of each man fifty shekels of silver, to give to the king of Assyria. So the king of Assyria turned back, and stayed not there in the land. And the rest of the acts of Menahem, and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? And Menahem slept with his fathers, and Pekahiah his son reigned in his stead. In the fiftieth year of Azariah king of Judah, Pekahiah the son of Menahem began to reign over Israel in Samaria, and reigned two years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not from the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. But Pekah, the son of Remaliah, the, a captain of his, conspired against him, and smote him in Samaria, in the palace of the king's house, with Argob and Aria, and with him fifty men of the Gileadites. And he killed him, and reigned in his room. And the rest of the acts of Pekahiah, and all that he did, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. In the two and fiftieth year of Azariah king of Judah, Pekah the son of Remaliah began to reign over Israel in Samaria, and reigned twenty years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not from the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin.